All right, guys, we are back here today to talk about the difference between parkerizing and Cerakote. These are both coatings on a blade, and there's some disadvantages and some advantages to both. And there's kind of a reason that we use this process uh, and, the, and the two different processes instead of just one. So first, I'm gonna start with parkerizing. Parkerizing is used on mild steel or carbon steel, and it's used to pr help prevent rust and to take away glare. Uh, but its, its main purpose is, is that rust prevention. A ton of different rifles that are made these days, even still, and especially all the old rifles, if they have black barrels on them and black magazines and all that kind of stuff, uh, that's parkerized. And that's really to keep that thing from rusting. And if you've ever noticed on an old gun, if it gets worn off on the side of the barrel or the side of the action, and all of a sudden it gets a little bit of rust there, well, that's because the parkerizing was no longer on there protecting that surface of that steel. The way parkerizing works is it's actually attaching itself to the steel and it's pre-oxidizing the surface of the steel. So ox oxygen and water and air, all that co uh, combine on carbon steel or mild steel uh, creates oxidization on the surface, which is what we call rust or maybe a patina on some old, old chef's knives that you've seen, that kind of dark, color on it and if you sand it or polish it, it comes back really nice and silver to get rid of that rust. Parkerizing is just beating the rust to the punch. It is doing the oxidization before rust can do it, which gives us a really nice black surface. And the other advantage of that is, is I really like the fact that it takes away glare. That's why it's popular on guns um, and tripods and stuff like that, is it takes away that glare so you're not out there with a mirror in the, in the field. There's a couple different parkerizing solutions. There's a manganese solution, there's a phosphate solution. And that's really kind of gets down in the weeds about what kind of look you're wanting. Uh, we've actually used both of them and both work just fine. So for parkerizing, you have to heat the solution up to about 200 degrees, uh, gets to a nice, uh, nice hot temperature, and then when you put the blades in, that, that solution actually boils and really broils a frothy, bubbly boil. And the way that you know the blades are done is it actually stops boiling and it's just sitting there. And those blades, it takes about 10 minutes or so of being submerged in that solution and they come out nice and black. It's very important with parkerizing though that you prepare the surface. Uh, there's different things that we, can, that we do with cleaning, uh, with bead blasting, stuff like that to make sure we get a nice even surface. The parkerizing solution, unlike the Cerakote, the parkerizing actually chemically bonds and attaches to that steel, makes it very durable. It's not a coating on the outside that's like painted on and baked like the Cerakote is. Parkerizing can wear though. So if there's a spot where it, where it rubs, um, maybe coming in and out of the sheath, you're gonna notice a little bit of wear. I quite frankly just look at that as character. What you will notice on our blades though, on the high carbon blades, the 5200, is the edge can get a little bit of rust on it or maybe even the logos will discolor or get a little bit of rust. And the reason for that is when we sharpen, that parkerizing is taken off. Don't worry about that. If, if you get a little bit of rust along the edge and whatnot, it does not affect the performance unless it's really heavy. And the other thing is, is just a little sharpening job on it and that rust comes right off. To me, a little bit of uh, patina or rust on a blade Again, that's character. I like to see our knives being used. If this thing looks pristine in 10 years, I would call you more of a knife collector than a knife user. Uh, these blades are built to use. All right, so let's talk about Cerakote. The way a blade is Cerakoted is again, we have to go through the same steps, uh, cleaning the surface of the steel, bead blasting the steel, making sure that we, we actually put that uh, paint, for the lack of a better word, on a really nice clean surface so it can attach well. Uh, Cerakote basically is a paint. It's sprayed on the blade and then it is baked at a fairly low temperature. Both processes, by the way, are happening at low enough temperatures that it has no effect on the temper of the steel. Uh, so that's, that's a concern that I've seen on the internet of people that aren't sure what they're talking about and they're worried that like Cerakote or parkerizing is hurting the temper of the steel. You're not gonna hurt the temper of the steel until you're up over, say, 350 degrees. This is all happening at 300 degrees or below. is actually even below 200. So with Cerakote, the advantage to this is you can do any steel. So it can be stainless, 
or it can be a high carbon steel. With the parkerizing solution, you can only do high carbon steels or mild steels. You cannot parkerize stainless steel. Again, with parkerizing, you're oxidizing that surface. You can't oxidize the surface of uh, stainless steel uh, very effectively anyway. So with Cerakote, there's a couple really nice advantages. It comes in any color. Uh, we kind of prefer black. That's kind of the, the I, I like the anti-glare. That's kind of our look as a company. Um, to me, it's really a clean look. It's classy. It's kind of traditional, uh, but new age in the same. Much like parkerizing, Cerakote can wear. Again, if you have wear points where you're wearing on a certain spot a bunch, or even with the edges, you cut a lot of cut sand rope or really abrasive materials, eventually uh, that surface is gonna start to wear. It does not matter what coating you're talking about. If it's parkerizing, if it's Cerakote, if it's DLC, you name it, it will wear if it's a coating on the surface of the steel. Another advantage of Cerakote that I really like is it's super easy to clean. So like for chef's knives, for example, the surface of this cleans off really nicely. It's really smooth. It passes through material when you're cutting it in the kitchen. Uh, it's very, very smooth surface, which I really like for a chef's knife um, or for a hunting knife. In fact, this morning we were cleaning up some hunting knives and it's really nice on these Cerakote blades. You get a little bit of hot soapy water and that stuff just peels right off the blade. All right, so in conclusion, the kind of the question is, is like what's better or what do I prefer? And the answer to that really is it kind of depends on what I'm using it for. So our, our chef's knives are stainless. Uh, we Cerakote them. That's really our only option there. Uh, and I really, really like that. Uh, however, in, in the field, I actually personally really prefer the parkerizing. And, and honestly, I like it because when it, I think it wears with more grace. Um, I think as it wears over time, it tends to look kind of older and more uh, antique-ish, where to me, as paint essentially wears off, I think it doesn't wear as nicely. It kind of looks like paint is just coming off the blade. Um, again, I think that's a personal preference thing. Uh, it's why on all our 5200 blades, uh, we pretty much only parkerize. I will say the difference with that, or the exception to that rule, is like when we do other colors. For example, like our orange blades. People love those orange blades. Uh, you can't do orange or any other color in parkerizing, so we do that in Cerakote. Um, uh, there again, Cerakote does provide some rust uh, prevention to the blade. However, just like with parkerizing, uh, if the edge is exposed or the logos have been lasered like we do, you know, you can still get rust in those areas on a carbon steel blade. In closing, uh, I think it depends on the process, on what you're wanting, if, especially with color. Cerakote's your way. Uh, in the kitchen, I really prefer the Cerakote. In the field, I really prefer the parkerizing. Thanks for joining us today.